I have played around with the new Arc browser and I wanted to share some early thoughts and a first look at this new application. Today, we're looking at Arc browser. It's fairly new to the market. Um, they actually were created as a company in December 2020 and essentially they've had a fair few the head of design at Tesla, Medium, multiple Google Chrome alumni and lots more famous faces heading over there and they're building a browser that's not boring. I'm going to give you a first look at it but please note that this is they've given me beta access which is really kind but it's so early days in terms of its official release so I did even notice some small things that obviously um, you won't get in the final version hopefully anyway um, and I'll include um, the current wait list below and if I have any invites as well I'll see what I can do too. So before we begin, my name is Francesco and I run Keep Productive. We're gonna be diving into plenty of productivity reviews. This is a bit of a weird one because we don't normally do browser reviews, but this is more of a interesting type of browser and it's got some really interesting productivity elements as part of it. So I'm excited to dive into this review. So downloading this application is by far one of the best experiences for onboarding. It really takes you through small things like creating your account, also connecting to existing applications like if you've got Google Chrome bookmarks and things like that ready. It'll take you through that whole experience and Safari as well if you do have that one. And what's really nice is it really educates you about how to use the browser before necessarily jumping in. So the core structure of this is probably the thing to start with. The Arc browser takes a different approach to, for example, Google Chrome by removing more of these sort of toolbars. So you can essentially go into this beautiful full screen view from day one and really feel like you're cocooned in the website more than actually being stuck and sort of, you know, uh, I guess with mess around the edges. They've really uh, embraced that approach with the sidebar as well, which you can pop open and be able to change tabs as well. And they've also got a command bar, which helps you to toggle between different websites or bookmarks that you may have for easy and quick access. One thing I really liked about this browser is their new feature called Split View. This essentially is much like mobile browsers, where you can pop a different view open at the same time and be able to view two things at once. And basically, it's just easier to be able to do that instead of having sort of tabs and switching between them. It's really easy to do and you can toggle each one to fit your comfort levels as well in terms of customization. So the way they go about organizing your Arc browser is through spaces. So if you wanted to create tabs for different areas, so for example, like general or work or life or spe specific project you're working on, you can actually do that and scrubble between them, which is a really nice feature. You can also do a few different productivity things, like for example, having your own library on there of files, images that connect to things like your desktop and downloads on the Mac browser, which is perfect for dragging stuff into websites if you're looking to do that quite fast and for collaborating in real time. One thing I really like about uh, this browser was the new easel thing. So they, basically it's like a bit of a collaboration whiteboard, which you can flip open at any time and start dragging things into it, but also visually demonstrating things. So this is nice for sharing with team members that you might want to um, start collaborating on whilst you're inside of the web. Another thing that was really nice is they actually have a new notability allowing you to create a basic note with images and the regular text formatting that you expect. A really simple thing on the browser that really goes a long way and I like as well how you can take screenshots of a specific part of the page really easily and be able to annotate them straight away. And I really like how you can send them to specific easel or notes that you're working on too. To be honest, I quite like this collaboration abilities and just being able to modify it a little bit more. I've actually found another extension that looks pretty cool on, on Google Chrome. And that's what the cool thing is as well, is they still have extensions on this application, which I believe you can get through the Google Chrome web store. So extensions wise, you'll still be able to use the regular set of extensions that you'd expect with your Arc browser and it would be using the Google Chrome web store. So very interesting approach to that. I'll have to look in a bit more detail on this as well. They also had this feature called Boost. I wasn't able to use it because of my skill set, <laughs> but I think you can modify code on a specific site and change it to how you like it if you're a CSS or developer and you want to make a few modifications that make a site look better. 
that you routinely visit. That's my understanding of it, but much more for brighter minds than myself. So when it comes to pricing and availability, right now it's in beta, so it's closed beta, so invite only. I really like when you get started with this, you get your own card, sort of quite very nice feel when you join the community. And the way that they've built this application is, is really stunning. To be honest, I'll probably start lightly using this. I don't like to necessarily com completely convert to it, but it will take some time to get used to. Some certain things did take the difference is having that tab sidebar to be able to find stuff that was weird and difficult to get used to. However, I think these are sort of things that are very minor things. It'll take a time to naturally navigate. I've been using Safari for like a year or so now. I previously was Google Chrome. So we're traditionally set to what we think about the web, but this is an interesting, fresh approach with much better design, much better productivity features built in and an interesting approach to tabs and being able to manage them in spaces. So a very nice first look at this. I'm impressed and I'm gonna be keeping an eye on how they develop this experience and how uh, and what to expect in the future. So thanks to the Arc team for hooking me up with an account. Hopefully you folks found this video useful. If you're interested in, in more of our reviews, you can check out our YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to below. But a big thank you for stopping by today and I hope to see you all very soon. Cheerio folks.